Hi, welcome to a Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam here with the uh, 13th session of the New Divines Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Uh, we have Eric as Stan, Austin as Rolfer, Bob as John, Ryan as Billy, David as Terry. Uh, um, they, uh, let's see, last time, um, let's see, Terry spoke with uh, Ilga, one of the other gods, to telling her to try and learn about the old gods and, and how they use their powers. Um, Yurtle, um once realized he was just kind of stuck on another one of the other gods, once he was like captive, uh, finished himself off and refused to allow himself to be raised from the dead. Um, then the whole party, uh, all y'all, uh, plus Alice, um, went to the Blue Vale to meet up with L.A., who has now just transported you to the Underland, some sort of underground cavern system. Um, and as you're adjusting, standing up from this long dream sequence that has led you into this world, um, you realize that you have landed here with no divine power. Um, with power? You have no no divine power. Yeah, yeah, without power. Yeah, yeah none. I heard with, and I'm like, I thought we didn't have it. No. <laughs> you missed the word no. <laughs> oh, no power. With no power, yeah. And, I'm still, uh, we're still level 12. We're pretty chunky. Yes, and, and they yeah. gained level 12. So, I mean, yeah, you're still powerful people, but... Um, yeah. In this setting, there are a lot more powerful people <laughs> standing around. Yeah. And, uh, for example, um, you don't have the ability to not consume your, um, components when casting a spell. Um, if you have stats that are above 20, they're currently treated as if they're 20. Um. <laughs> what about my onesie? Uh, you, you, uh, while you still physically have the objects, they do not appear to have their divine magical power. Uh, Not my onesie. I no longer have an infinite book. <laughs> I will let it be up to you whether your onesie reverts to its natural onesie self or just stays in the appearance of the clothes that you had it looking like when you transported. <laughs> onesie, 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 onesie. Oh, it's a onesie. That's fine. <laughs> now everybody my, my armor can do the exact same thing as my onesie. <laughs> I have two items that do the same thing. Redundancy. For this specific reason. But for a brief well, moment, you, you guys catch him in a onesie before. <laughs> um, my armor and what? Well, actually, my armor is also armor, where my onesie is just a onesie. Yeah. Oh, you are in a cavern. Comfortable. Has little bunnies on it. Who's got dark vision? Because bunnies are, of course, the Me. best animal for trickery. They can lay no. eggs. Don't I care. Do can them. Bunnies lay eggs. Oh, I cast light. Yeah. Yes, I also light up light. <laughs> light. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Okay, my dark vision's useless now. <laughs> so you illuminate the cavern that you're in. You, you can hear Wait. just the water dripping from the ceiling above. Um, there's passages leading sort of two main directions, but it's a wide tunnel and you can't quite see if there's smaller passages off either of the side as you're just kind of in the middle of an open section. But Interesting. Okay. LA kind of How far does around. like uh, create visibility for. Depending on the type of light. Uh, it's the light spell, so. Anyways, I see 60 feet. If anything's further than the light can see. Light should be 20 feet of bright light, 20 feet of dim light. So we yep. can see just a little bit further. 
And but then dim light, with your dark vision, you treat that as if it's bright light. So you also yes. see better in that than them, so. So yeah, you, you see a solid 20 feet further than the rest of us, and you see 40 feet well better than the rest of us. So really you're only seeing out about 60 feet, then actually in this point right here, you guys are just in open cavern. Slag tight slag mites, but otherwise just kind of an open passage. Um, ground is worn. There's definitely been travel through this section of cavern at times. Um, is LA still with us? LA is still with you, yeah. She's kind of looking around, trying to catch her bearings. She's kind of not walking too far away, but looking around, trying to figure out. All right, and look to her. So are you able to uh, show us the way or teleport us there? Yeah, I'll figure it out. We can't be usually within a mile. She kind of looks around for a bit. Um, just follow me, and, and she basically just starts walking in a direction for about 100 feet until she, you know, she sees a wall. <laughs> oh, like we're in a giant cavern. Giant cavern, yes. I'm going to go ahead and summon to myself a torch via my conjuration ability from being a conjuration wizard. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to control flames on the torch to double the distance on of light, so it's really, really bright torch. So now we have uh, 80 feet, 40 feet of bright light, and uh, 40 feet of dim light. And I'll More up. light! Yep. And it'll be a white light. All right. Um, but yeah, so she goes until she figures out a wall and kind of walks either way. This way, I'm kind of guides you off um, after about probably five minutes of trying to catch her bearings. Um, I also will take the time to summon up a tensor's floating disc and sit myself down. I'm not walking in a cave. So, you walk for probably 25 minutes um, until you, you notice this sec you, you get to a flat wall feels almost partially carved out. It is just completely vertical surface. Um, and the cavern at this point, like the roof of, the, of this cavern, which has for the most part been roughly 30, 35 feet, um, as it approaches this wall just gets higher, where it's it's beyond your 80 or whatever feet vision, like the, the roof of the cavern goes above it. Are you trying to ask a question? Yes. Okay. Uh, as we are traveling, while they're walking and I float along, um, Terry is going to keep an eye out for, like, fungus and mushrooms and things and just keep a running, like, collection of things. Okay. Um, in this section of the cover, uh, cavern, there's, there's basically no growth like that at all. Uh, this is this is a lot of bare stone, wet stone, um, I mean, just that that moisture deposits kind of thing, but nothing that's really growing here. Okay. Well, he's totally going to be taking like rock collections. Okay. Uh oh. And ex and examining them via Arcana and stuff, just to to see what properties this new world has. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe gravity doesn't exist, and we're all just thinking it does. But. Uh, Whoa, man. In this large flat wall is a small gated doorway, like like an iron gate built into the side of this wall um, that sort of leads within, um, which Ali is approaching. Doesn't feel ominous at all. Uh, as she does, a couple of drow uh, open the gate and sort of step out on either end for her approach, allowing you into what is probably around a uh, three and a half foot wide tunnel that is about six and a half, seven feet tall. And it's just this narrow tunnel that goes for 120 to 200 feet of just- More importantly, how's the minor mine code going, doing? You the have not seen mind. it. Is major business. I'm, I don't know, but I'm feeling pretty hungry. Something generic sounds good. Like slug steaks? No, well, like something that's like, you know, portable and small and round. You'd have to go to space for a puck. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways. They're perfectly nutritious. Uh, in fact, for Terry, I feel like this is... An, uh, not only do you have to get up and walk, 
this is an uncomfortable squeeze for you to go through this passage. This... I can't just floating disc through? How wide is your floating disc? Wide enough to fit, like, half my butt cheeks. Yeah, because... So, no. Because I think the floating disc isn't it supposed to be, like, five feet wide? I think it's four. Four? Yeah, it, it is larger than this tunnel that you're going through. It's, like, three and a half foot wide tunnel. It is a small... It is a choke point where it is difficult for anything to approach. And how Can you ride into the slant? The, hmm? How distant is the tunnel? It's about 120 to 200 feet. David, just ride it like this through the tunnel. I don't know how Terry's going to get through that. Yeah. Better grease you, him up. You kind of go sideways and just kind of... <laughs> Hang on the side. Being cavernous, the walls do have a level of moisture on them. That... <laughs> but so you, Terry's you, gonna... are, you are squeezing through this tunnel. <laughs> Definitely going to drop the torch and conjure up some literal lard. <laughs> At this point, Ally has has gone beyond you, but the couple of drow guard are a little Does it, like they're hey, glancing the record, between I'm each 100% other. I'm one hundred percent keeping up with Ellie. I if am I not go, sitting back here with Greasy McGee. If I go there. up, if I go up, does it get wider? No, the the little tunnel that you're going through is like six and a half or seven feet tall. Oh. No, it is deliberately claustrophobic entering from this side. You're entering from the defensive side. What's the distance on Misty Step? Uh, <laughs> Not hundreds 20. of feet. Yeah, but I'm allowed to get his Honda. He's blowing all the Dimension storms. door. Oh, yeah. Going through the hallway. I do not have dimension door. Uh, conjure counter spell visibility. Arcade gate. How much of the, how many of those things? Oh right, you're a proper wizard. I forgot. Yeah. Like all of my magic stuff is like, oh, I can't use any of that. I can't go invisible. I'm guessing I don't get my piety bonus here either. Nope. Mm -hmm. You're not a god. So what are you talking about? Divinity. Oh, you're making a rogue. That's something. Um, hey, I'm a dangerous rogue. Where's conjuration mm -hmm. wizard? Conjuration. Here we go. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who actually has uh, like equipment. Oh, I don't know. have all my stuff. Yeah, decent. Armor. Damn it. All these, all of my teleports are thirty foot. <laughs> How many you got? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I don't want to spend six spell slots on Misty Step, but I might have to. No, you can just go. You can squeeze yeah. through. It's okay. it's uncomfortable, yeah, yeah. but you're capable you're of it. Fine, fine, I squeeze. Yeah, you you're just noticeably squeezing through. Um, okay. Yeah, so you you make your way through out, and you end up, uh, let's see, that heads out into the market. The, um, yeah, it might also be tough Merchant for, Street. for me to go through, too. Are you also, Are you also super fat? No, it's because I got a shell. Yeah, no, yeah, you, you don't get to squeeze, but you're, you're not that wide. You couldn't go through sideways, but... <laughs> But you could just kind of go through. <laughs> Brian, what are you that you have a shell? I'm a turtle man. I was like, it'd be turtle, right? Yeah. Nope. No, I'm a simic hybrid. Yeah, he's a simic hybrid. He's done exp oh. There was experimentation done working on turtles the dessert that. Um... Yeah. I tried making turtles with real turtles. Didn't turn out the way I had expected. Still a good treat. Oh. Okay. So I'm like, I don't remember Billy Bonka being a turtle, but your violet's turning violet, violet. Yes. Yep. <laughs> um, so you enter out onto a road. There's shops and stalls. Um, little alleys leading off of it. Um, well, and, and this is a road that is basically perpen uh, perpendicular to the passage that you're coming out onto. You're coming out on the side of it, and it's going to either direction from there. Um, lots of inns and taverns. Um, you can hear the sound of, of metal being worked. Um, hey, Smiths. Rolfer, let me, see, let me know if you see anything selling uh, magical supplies. Do you say that out loud? Yeah. Um, Ellie will pop up. I mean, we're we're going to my dad's shop first. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, to which, from here, she leads you... She turns right, 
and goes for a distance past shops I'm, and such. I'm um, glad she goes the right way. What is the name of this place? Uh, this would be Baravin. Bless you. That doesn't even sound like a sneeze. That joke doesn't work. <laughs> work. Me and David just over there old manning it up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she takes you down for a while and then back, you know, so she went right to it and then right again going up a flight of stairs that goes to another tier of the city that is clearly above, at least in part, where the passage that you went through was. Um, and then right. from there, a short, you know, to the left for a short distance, um, going to a small, inconspicuous little shop that just has a wooden sign above a door that depicts the corpse of a horse on its sign. Not a fan of uh, advertising, are you? Your family. It's the dead horse. Um, the corpse cart. Um, That's a dead horse. That works. It's more important to get word of mouth than to have all manner of people aware of what's going on in the shop. We'd rather have business with people that actually need our skills than too many people that just like to wander in and loiter. And it's what's in Yeah, I can imagine right? if like people just ran up and banged on your door at all hours of the day, that would be annoying. I mean, it, we've, we've had that at times, but... That's maybe. <laughs> and it's what's on the inside of the shop that matters, right? Uh, I mean, yes. It opens the door. <laughs> uh, right, very, it feels somewhat similar to her shop. Uh, right wall has just uh, shelf of all sorts of ingredients to potions um, otherwise a bare counter uh, a door behind it and a second door uh, off to the right of it um, and and from the or I guess not the one. The one behind the counter is a curtain that pulls open, and a drow sort of steps out. Takes him a moment, and a big grin crosses his face as he works his way around the uh, the counter to give Ellie a hug. It's been what? Um, as Eight he years. Comes, as he comes around to give a hug, Terry absolutely act like he's the one that's going to be getting the hug. Uh, and you've brought... You've made new friends. Well, great. He'll kind of awkwardly lift his hand up to one of your outstretched hands to give you... to shake your hand. <laughs> the, the, he's not a hugger? Apparently not. Apparently not to complete strangers. Uh, Very missed Yes, greetings, sir. I am Billy Bonka, Chocolatour Extraordinaire. Uh, Volk Gallandam, proprietor of the Corpse Cart. Are you in need of magic yes. equipment my daughter was unable to assist with? Or? Uh, ink, please. He got, oh, got a glance at the <laughs> Well, yes, of course. Like... Just normal spelling, at least? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you didn't need something to glow in the dark, or... <laughs> no, uh, it's like, Terry's, like, laughing out loud as he does this. It's like, yes, yes, no, but, uh, we're, we're here from the roots. But, uh, while we're here, I could use the ink. Certainly. Um, how much do you need? Uh, let's see. Four... Eight, uh, nine. We'll say ten levels worth. Yeah. Don't you goes... want to pick up any uh, scrolls that you can move into your spell book? I mean, yeah, but like, I'm not rich. I've got a grand. Like, that's that's a good amount of money. But like, I'm already looking at what it that like. If I'm getting ten levels of ink, that's already five hundred gold. I just hand you seventy platinum. 
That and that and you might want to uh, hold on to twenty five gold for. Uh... I mean, I have two thousand and seventy platinum. I do not question it. Um, yeah, I just have seventy five. platinum. I'm yeah, like, like my numbers are, are a little there you go. uneven. <laughs> And then I put down the, the 700 gold and platinum and be like, scrolls, please. <laughs> so, first you'll get your ink for you. Glass. Is a barrel of ink? I mean, it's, it's, it's like a glass yeah. jar. <laughs> it is a ridiculously small amount of ink for the price. That's it's special ink. Yeah. I, I go. Do you have flowers. any items that would allow him to uh, add spells to his book quicker or like more effectively? I mean, that exists in this world. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I know it does. <laughs> I'm well aware, Ryan. That's why I'm asking the proprietor of the spell shop for that. <laughs> um. I mean, I have something. Let's see what can be done. Uh, first, you were looking for scrolls. So you put down the seventy platinum for scrolls, not, and then in addition to pay the payment for the. In uh, addition to the five hundred gold yeah, thing. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I mean, heck, while I'm here, I'm tempted to just drop all of my money on ink, just so I don't just so I have some for later. Oh, thank I need God, it for the gold. Some ink. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need money. Uh, you, you need 25 gold in order to pay guild dues. What dues? Right. <laughs> I'll drop another. I'll drop another that, four. Though. I'll drop another 400 on uh, on ink as well. You know, so 900 on ink. Yeah, 10, Terry don't know that levels. though. Neither yeah, does Billy. No. But that puts me like I mean it's good to ha it is good to have money and I mean hey, keeping that keep, keeps me at one hundred and fourteen. So poor. Doesn't matter. I just so I can smell the poor coming off you. <laughs> like You're a monster. <laughs> like these aren't platinum pieces that Terry's bringing out. He's bringing out like bags of like like ten pound bags of gold that he just has on him. Be like chink. <laughs> Where'd you hide that? Uh -huh. I do have some money. <laughs> I wasn't hiding it, it was just under this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Belly, the best deterrent to thieves. <laughs> I have to press digitation myself every hour on the hour, or else you can smell the sweat. That's okay, you just smell like poor now. gonna bite my tongue at how you got most of your money. Don't you worry about how I got most of my money. Direct beneficiary of my thievery. Don't you worry <laughs> about how I get most of my money. <laughs> so, with that, you could get you could get one equivalently third level spell scroll. If you want multiple scrolls of lower levels, can I negotiate for him to uh, make that a uh, better price? That would Since, require you know, him to be I'll asking be... for something particular, so... David, ask for something particular so I can negotiate for that plus the price of the little pen thing that I'm going to be buying you. Okay. Um, let's see, I don't well, have... He, well, he, well, he lets, you know, um, yeah, Terry think he over that. that. Um... So, uh, outside of there, do we only need to in L.A.? What uh, have we come to this, uh, your father's establishment for? Well, we're close. I wanted to say hi. I haven't oh, seen him in like yeah, eight yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know if uh, there was uh, something that you needed to collect. No, not really. I have... Take your time. Uh, yeah, we'll go with uh, Fireball as my, as my first desire, but uh, find familiar, 
as a first level spell and knock as a second level spell sure would be nice. Okay. You know, maybe so I should try to invest fireball. in some kind of... Maybe I should... Okay. Where's Dimension Door? What level is Dimension Door? Four. Four? Ah, oh, darn. Do you not have fourth level spells? Uh, not enough money for fourth level spells. I have enough money for fourth level spells. Do so you want Dimension Door? Knock, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going, you, you do. Value. Going up to fourth level... Uh... Has a big price jump. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, Dimension Door would be nice. Gold and platinum. I have 2,000 platinum, which is 20,000 gold. Oh, also, okay. your third level teleport is Thunderstep. Yeah, Thunderstep. Leave a grenade. Yep. But that doesn't go hundreds of feet, does it? And, uh, okay, so. Okay, so. so we're gonna. Yeah, so I, the conversation starts with Terry being like, Dimension door, so I don't have to squeeze through that damn tunnel anymore. And then the old man's like, shut the fuck up, get something useful. And then we go on to fireball. No, so you want dimension door, fireball, not uh, and find familiar? Yeah, that'd be correct? great. Okay, so those four plus the pen. Find familiar is Wait, first. Are you just having this conversation like you're just like, you're buying this? Yes, Fireball's I'm buying third. him stuff. Dimension door's fourth. People who hang out with me get stuff. So one, two, three, four. Can't argue with that logic. No, I mean, if you're no spirit of giving, I mean, I'll take a witch's broom, you know, to Brady, a Brady, who saved your life already? <laughs> I like it. Nobody? Who did you want for all of our followers? The way that I see it. The way that I see this is that if he comes to Terry, like after this, if he comes to Terry with a random magical item again and says, hey, I need this gone and I want money for it, Terry's not going to be asking questions. Yeah, no. <laughs> Terry will still get his 10%, though. John, <laughs> John's been doing a great job. The thing you need to know is, yeah, don't worry about it. Stuff happens. Okay, so, Adam, are you looking up that price? Yeah, I'm, I'm all that stuff. So that was the three spells, a fourth, a yeah, third, a fourth and a first. Spells, right? hmm? Dimension door, fireball, knock, find familiar. Oh, knock. What level uh, What level's knock? Two. 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 Okay, so four, three, two, one. Okay. And then the pen. Um, Which means you get to hold on to 70 platinum, David, since I'm just going to pay for everything. Cool. And no more bitching from you about what I have and haven't spent money on. <laughs> <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I don't know. If you got money to throw around, could I get an instrument of the bards? Yeah, that's what I just asked, and I just got scolded for it. So for I those... Uh, for those, four scrolls in the pen would be 8,000 gold. Okay, so now I can negotiate, yes? Yes. Excellent. So my persuasion check is that since we're buying in bulk and I guess we're adding the instrument of the bards for Ryan. Oh, then I, I yeah, yeah. Say, I can assist. I probably have better persuasion than you. Hold do. on, if you're now wanting to you see. Get well, plus um, I yeah, can describing you. what you would want per the instrument, that is something that. Uh, First off, would add time. And yeah, you have to kind of make cut that down because your instrument's fucking weird. Your charisma's cut down to a twenty. Remember? Huh? Yeah, my charisma. My I still have a plus thirteen. Oh uh, yeah, if my charisma goes down, then yeah, it'd be thirteen. Um, um, which yeah. instrument of the bards were you looking to base on? Uh, which instrument of the bards? Uh, uh, I guess that would depend on rarity. What, what, what? That's would depend on the price. Yeah, that's yeah, why I'm asking. That, that that would affect the what? What uh, rarity would you be willing to spot me? He doesn't know the cost per them until you you've said what you. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's why I'm asking. Like, what what's his uh, price limit? Don't spend more than ten grand of my money. Okay, so what what's less than ten grand? Ten grand or less. Yeah. What's that? That's rare, right? So an additional ten grand from the eight, eight that he's already yeah. asking. Um, Whoa, yeah, that could go wait. possibly into rare. Wait, um, this uh, this instrument of the bard. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I can probably just make that for you if you'd I mean, if you want to give me like a day or two. No. You don't have your magic powers here. Yeah, you couldn't do it here, but... I mean, if we go back home, though. If he can make it, then, then I won't bother spending his money. I mean, it'll, it'll still cost some money to get the materials. I don't know how Adam wants to throw that around, but... Uh, we'll figure that out later if we can do that. It's going to be cheaper than buying it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It so also will not the, add the extra time of you guys waiting around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just the eight grand and persuasion. Have a uh, No, I was gonna say like if it's if it's an instrument, I can make an instrument. Like we're not talking like an adamantium sword or something. Right. Yeah. So a natural twenty. <laughs> hey, I gave you an inspiration die. Oh, okay. That's an a D10. I'm still waiting on what your total is. Uh, so that's... Uh, 42. 42. Yeah, still it's great. I he have goes down very... to... 6,800. Okay. 6,800, that's fair. That's, that's... <laughs> and by the way, to play this, there is about an hour long discussion that follows here that that, that we used to that. Terry's just like standing up standing aside, like watching the back and forth. By the end of it, Allie, Ellie and Alice are sitting on the like against the ground, like beside the like the potion ingredients and like, you know, Ellie's pulling bottle you know, jars of like worms and stuff off and talking to them about <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring up a go board and challenge and, uh, play with Alice if she wants. Hmm. Alice is talking to Ellie. Oh. I already used my two NPCs to dialogue together. All right, uh, hey, roll for go. Yeah, sure. I'll get my ass kicked in that, sure. You, now, there is really nowhere, no chair or anything here. So you just have to kind of squat down to the floor. <laughs> so so uh, me, uh, once this is all over, Terry is going to need help getting up. <laughs> he is an old okay. man again. So that would leave me at uh, 1420 flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. So give David his pen in this scroll. Uh, the pen basically treats it as... Uh, whatever the, the feature of um, your thing where it's like it's half whatever for your yeah. your type, you get that for all types. Oh, cool. Very so cool. It's, so it's one hour per spell level for, for yeah, anything. It's Very cool. I think it's, I think, is that time and money that it halves? Yeah. That, oh, so it halves money too? Huh? Uh, spell, spelling. Oh, are you talking about what the... the what the pen did. Uh, yeah, just reduced time. It, it was just the time? Okay, so it's just the time that it... No, like, I watched that series. I'm pretty sure it did money, too. Uh, no, I got free spelling for being part of the guild. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be able to just come back here willy-nilly to give myself free spelling. You you need to scribe down uh, the uh, blue Officially veil. speaking, what? officially speaking, that pen is technically a key that would allow you to use the spell that does it. Because it's a I'll magic item from this world. <laughs> I'll have to learn uh, that spell from Ellie. <laughs> Seventh level. Almost soon-ish. Yes. So come which back. also brings right. up the fun that she's more powerful than all of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, uh, we figured that, anyways. So uh, uh, more does anyone else need here. anything magical whilst we're here? Because it's just me, Ryan, and David here, right? Well, you're all hanging well, out in the yeah, shadow world. Unless anyone wanted to walk out and walk the streets while there's an hour oh, of conversation. I didn't, know, I didn't know the whole group went through the portal. Oh, yeah. Yes, everyone is yeah, there. Yeah, Excuse me, we scolded. Like, I said something for a magic item, you scolded me, like, I saved your life. Okay, never mind then. Well, I'm pretty sure you have full magic armor. Vic doesn't need anything. I mean, I mean does I she have. A, I could use a Lux Stone. Lux, everybody could use a Lux Stone. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lux Stone. <laughs> so she has six luck stones. 
I can't wander around with a thing circling my head that that's pretty much goes, stone. I know who that guy no, is. That's, that's an ion stone. Yeah. Luckstone goes in your pocket. What does it do? Plus one to everything. More or less. It confuses How the game. How much are stones? Just so you guys know, we are using the money I was going to use to build a temple for all of us. That's what this money's uh, coming from. Let's see, Stone of all Good Luck are uncommon. Uh, ability checks and saving throws requires attunement. Yes. But the big thing there is ability checks. Let's see. I've already was, got uh, so who was it that asked him? Who was it that asked him about it? Uh, Terry. Darn it. Make a luck check. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> I specifically didn't just throw it out random for anyone. <laughs> All right. Because I knew you'd grab onto the check. <laughs> well then, uh, I am going to spend my first luck point of the day on this luck check. Because I don't want a one on my first luck check of the day. I'm also just thinking that because it gives a plus one to skills, and I definitely need more bonuses to skills. Yeah. What a wasted luck check. Uh, 11. Eleven. So so. Dice, you better start doing better. I'm gonna put you back in the bag. But yeah, Luxstone's a good little starter magic item. Take up a tomb and slot, definitely not best thing you could have, but pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the best one thing I think Warlock can get is that rod and there's one other item I can't think of what it's called. Oh well, yeah, if you're a warlock, you're you're you want that rod. Yeah, that the item I was trying to think of. Rod of the pack keeper. Yes, that because it comes in flavors of extra warlock power. Mm -hmm. Better dark chart aim mode, I think was the other one, but mainly the rod. For six hundred gold per, and two days of work. Are we going to be back here within two days? Hmm? Like, we have a thing that we're doing, and are we going to head back this way on the way back? I ask Ellie. Um, we wouldn't have to. We would just have to find somewhere safe. Um, but we, we could? We could if we needed to. I, I don't know how long all this is going to take. Well, okay, well, well one... I can't attune any more items, because I have four already. Wait, do I have four? I don't think my studded armor requires a tune. I don't know. Isn't it kind of weird? It's like, you guys have items? Yeah. I don't have any. I do. I have a no, bunch of stuff. It's just Bob. Yeah, it's I just, have no items. Yeah, it's just I have a book and armor. That's all I have. I have clothes. Yep. I don't know. If uh, your father finishes his work, would he be able to somehow pass them off to you? I mean, physically, by coming here. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't have any on hand? Yeah. yeah. None. All right, Not don't worry about it. Uh, no, don't worry, I'll make some. Like, I'll, like, when we get back to the kingdom, I'll make some. Okay, then we'll Yeah, do... I already have four attuned items, so I can't do any more yeah, with, attuned items. With oh. the old man's help, I can just make them when we get back to the kingdom. Yeah, if we want to, we can just wait until Air. Uh, Terry can start making items for us. Like, okay, I can do so it, and it takes me 10 minutes. I just need the mats. Okay, so uh, everyone has everything they need. Eric, you don't need a weapon or anything? Uh, like I said, I'd take Rod of the Pack Keeper if you're paying for it, but otherwise I'm good. And what's Rod of the Pack Keeper? It's another yeah, it's thing that... Yeah, it's another thing he could make. It would... I can make that? I mean... Is that common? Um, uh, with your power, you can make any magic item. Right, I guess, technically. He would have so to saying, know like, about it. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, luck stones, that's, like, right up Terry's alley. Uh, a, a magical instrument, Terry's been a, a patron of the arts for literally decades before his death. But, yeah. It would, it would take some education before he could make the Rod of the Pack cheaper. At a certain point, L.A., as she's getting up from her conversation, will point out. And if he can't, I mean, once we're back, I 
I know most of the same schematics Dad does, so. Yeah, Ooh. so she's. If it's easier when you're home. Mm -hmm. it, it, almost like, it almost like. There's a, she says the word home different than the rest of the sentence. Like, it doesn't feel like the natural word to use. Yeah, done done purchasing stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any tea? You're done purchasing. Not here. I'm just summoning some. Well, we're just seeing their flavors, their local flavor. Uh, Thank you. If you're thirsty, we can stop by tavern or something. Oh, where do you suggest? That is right. Now that we're in a completely different dimension, do you are you aware of any sweet makers? Anybody that you would suggest that I try while I'm here? Where can I There's find an a elderly woman that does a nice sugar slug? Sugar slug. That sounds right up my alley. I'm interested. <laughs> that does sound. I... Right, right. The goal. I completely forgot about the goal. Where could I find a good book on theology? Um, well, we have quite a nice library. Do you? Down the road. Oh, yes, yes. Well, it's good. It doesn't smell smoky at all. <laughs> no. So we have a book on theology. What, what else? Because um, we're here to uh, find out about... Uh, yeah, the gods of this place and mm -hmm. how they use their powers. Uh, Isn't there someone we're supposed to talk to? Yeah, were, were you going to lead us to somebody or something? Um, we can see what our options are. Um, Ellie, I am quite concerned. If we lose track of each other, how do we get back? If like that. <laughs> And they just come back. Keep but track of where you're at, where we're going, um, and if we're lost, return here to my father's shop. It would be the best place to know to look for you. The city is Berevin if you have to ask questions. Um, Bless you. I put my hand on the shoulder. We'll invoke the buddy system. If if you find yourself uh, surrounded by giant mushrooms, head east. Um, Terry literally starts taking a note. Um, otherwise, it's a lot of caverns. Try not to get lost. Well, it's good to know that our well-being re relies on someone that's, cap someone that's capable, at least. So what what are our options? And were you just bringing us here to see a library, or...? I mean, if he asks for a library, I can show to that. Um, I can... Certainly... I think I have a friend who's parlayed with some gods. Um, oh, if he and, of course, says... other... Dimension um, options, other planes uh, would allow you to go to the house if you wanted to try and meet one personally. Hmm. Some are more yes. friendly than others, although in the grand scheme of things, even some of the more foul ones can be polite. Is there a god of life, or I say our respective gods, is there a version of our respective gods in this realm? I mean, there are great many so is there a god of life in this realm or is there just one or multiple depending on which realm there's probably at least one yeah well I'm yeah. sure that Rolfer and I will probably go uh, directly to the library I mean I suppose and Well, perhaps you'll see at the library 
there are opinions within the city uh, of the various gods. Um, I suppose the most direct relating to life would probably be uh, Palor, who also is of the sun. Um, Wait, hold on. The god of the sun, his name is Palor. Um, Palor. Yes. Oh, oh, the Palor god is the god of the sun. You know we're not divine here. Maybe we shouldn't be mocking deities. But you'd general. think they'd come up with a better name. Like, I mean, a title or something. Uh, my name's John, Like, so... Like, maybe, like, Tanor is the yeah, I mean, Halo. Yeah, we got Stan the God of Life over here. I mean, I'm not really one to talk. Yeah, we got Stan the Healing Man of Life over here. Right, but at the same time, it's not like we have any... Like, we can't even get into the afterlife normally. I mean... I mean, it's not really normal. As far as a come on. title... I think they call him Shining One. Ooh, boom, well, Shining that, One. Great at title. least that makes sense. Yeah, Pale yeah, people yeah. tend to shine. He's a pretty bright guy, from what I hear. <laughs> Feel like you've, you've had the... some built-up aggression, David. <laughs> I, I, I look at her and go, "What about the God of Brickery? And should I even try talking to him?" I, um, yeah, I'm not uh, really sure. Um, Something There's about... one that's that's trickery and cobalts, I think. Yeah, its uh, name is like Crokey. You don't know. Um, Apparently, neither do you. Nope. Would I think like knowledge folklore to him or knowledge? You're you're in standard. You want knowledge tomorrow. I mean, really thinking of it, trickery tends to be foul. There's no rule, I'll... but. Evil. Ala Damara. Yeah, Ala Damara. That's the good aligned god of trickery. <laughs> if I'm right, right, you mean neutral? Yes. Yeah, oh, is he, was he neutral? Yeah, he's neutral. Good alignment, Bob. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like good aligned. That's yeah, close enough. I think I'm true neutral. Yeah. The no, I'm neutral evil. <laughs> yeah, the next closest thing to good would be garlic glitter gold, but that. Yeah. He, he's neutral. Carl Glittergold, famed for his uh, his right-handed and righteous action. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm neutral evil, so. So, she will bring uh, take people down this road. This is another road that's you know just like the long street that was um, uh, the Merchant Street. Um, she's now walks you down this other next like what is parallel to the street below on the next level up um, tells you it's the queen's eyes um, and this is a lot more higher end kind of stuff some some nice noble mansions off to the side um, higher end businesses and such uh, she takes you to a um, stone slab built cathedral like building um, that has been built up here that is the library. It is a three-floored three building um, that has two towers atop uh, either side of it. Um, if anyone wanted to look through the library that's here, I suppose we'll meet back here for any that wanted to go get food first. Mm. <laughs> what, what is Terry going to choose? I, I grabbed Terry. I'm like, come on, old man. Library. You can barely fit through the doors as is. I mean, can we go get that food That has nothing after? to do oh, with the food. Um, I don't know how long you'll take at the library if you wanted to. I mean, can we check books out? You can't. Ah. Okay. I can't. Local residents only, bro. Drow only, specifically. Mm. Oh. I walk around a corner real quick. My God, you are, you are, a clever, clever. All I'm hearing I come is back that he out like looking an awful lot like her father. All I hear is that he just like walks behind Terry and then comes out from behind Terry as this guy. And I start copying her accent, which I can do perfectly because I've heard her speak. My like brain just qu just clicked with the fact that Alice can't see through it right now. Because she doesn't have her divine powers. So. Yeah, I just go and I 
talk in like something that sounds very similar to a local accent in common. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Under Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's going well. Um, can I assist you with Hello? anything? Yeah, sure thing, Allie. Uh, we're just gonna go in here. To the library. She does not get it at all. Not with so, that <laughs> I just grab him and I'm like, come on, Terry, let's go. With my 15 insight check, do I get it? Do you know that John is a shapeshifter? I know that he can cast illusions. <laughs> That's between you two if you get it from that point. There's not there's not a set DC yeah, by me. He's he's not acting like bizarre about it. And like he just walked away and then this dude came out and then started with the same thing. Do you so... change your clothes at all? No. Okay, yeah, Terry's taking Probably okay. everyone but LA who Got a low roll. Oh, he does. But <laughs> Terry's like a, a sure thing, old man. <laughs> Is Ellie getting it now? Yeah. <laughs> Presumably, that's the name that she's been given for you. So yes. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we that'll go, that'll work. Go there have been check out some uh, worse uh, tricks played on this library. Ooh, burn. You yeah, know? explosively. <laughs> the last trick was quite a, was quite explosively hilarious. Uh, a real joke. If no one gets this, watch the channel more. I mean, that's a long campaign we're asking him to watch. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> campaign, though. Thank you. Um, the, important, the important thing to remember is our previous party had absolutely nothing to do with the church exploding. Yeah, anyone can prove. <laughs> the library. No the library, yeah. But the but... library, yes, yes, it's the library. I think we blew up a church too. I don't think we blew up either one. No, we went to a church and they tried to steal our books with their shadow hands from the windows. Oh, right, right, right. Didn't blow it up, just stole No, no. The reason that the library is fully restored has something to do with our previous party. Yes, it does. <laughs> Anywho. But, uh, but yeah, so they, you know, she leads you in. Um, and she knows her way around it well enough to um, take you to the section on gods. Um, Theology. Well, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, the uh, god books that will be relevant to me. I ask her, uh, given that she'd be more familiar with the Pantheon, and it's like, well, I have uh, the Arcanos my domain, but is there any other gods that I should be looking into for creativity or imagination as being kind of a, something oh. within their wheelhouse. Adam, for the record, I do just look like I'm wearing fine clothes, even though I am wearing armor. Mm -hmm. And as we were walking in, uh, I activate the armor's ability so it never does not show up as magical. Okay. Nice. Um, well, first just off, I'll continue kind of my sentence. As you're looking in the theology section, it's a lot of spiders. Not like, like, like iconography of spiders. Sorry. A few, not completely absent, but few actual spiders. Um, I, I see you're I, looking for a god of imagination. Have you tried Lolth, goddess of hmm. imagination? <laughs> uh, <laughs> How can I actually am gonna be look the god for... of everything? I don't understand this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Adam, the thing <laughs> you, I'm you, you, you discern it for... must be the ability to consume other gods eventually allows one god to consume all of them, and Loth has done so, and is god of all. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, you, I'm going to specifically... There are books on other gods, and you can find some very rudimentary information. She can help with that. There is a lot uh, of information on Loth. Um, is there information on a god of knowledge? Because that's yes. what I'm looking for. Anything on other gods tends to be downplayed or, defa or defaming. Well, I need a name. Would I, I don't care. Would that just be Macabre, or is there another one of... Macabre's yeah. the god of magic and knowledge. Yeah. yeah. 
because if we're doing Why traditional not? the the old school pantheon, I don't think anybody else has knowledge. We Joss has up magic, and death. Vecna has knowledge. Um, yeah, although Vecna, Vecna has no mention in any of the books here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not looking for freaking Vecna <laughs> for no. reasons for reasons that need to not explain. We they don't have they're not a fan of Vecna around here. You know, it, if you're looking for her, you might need to find someone that could give you a hand. <laughs> That that and uh, any time I've come across recorded information about Vecna, I've destroyed it because he wouldn't want it around. Yeah. Not even by name. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So the only one that really seems at all knowledge is magic and knowledge under Um But yeah, you find books that have all of the the gods that are very much more. Textbooky, um, and like to point out flaws, and you find both religious texts, um, books about personal histories, a lot of things to do with Lolf. Yeah, um, definitely. Would it be like an investigation check, or let me grab my damn screen here to find information about the cop specifically, like? how to find and or speak with him. With like a God. ritual, something like that, that would allow... Whatever happened questions. to that book about tracking down the gods? You just kept that, right? Yeah. As far as tracking him down, you don't find anything here. I don't need... I just need to speak to him, is the important thing. Okay. <laughs> Henwood, right. Henwood's still got that book. <laughs> um, but... Working as a group, one of you can make a check, or with others assisting... Uh, or two I of you can make checks, or with others of 16, one can make a check with advantage. Um, I have a plus, it, I have a rather good plus nine, so which means that I will assist right. somebody who has way higher. I have plus 12 to investigate. Yeah, investigation. Yeah. So, so, and I can't roll beneath a 10. If I roll a 10, it's automatically a 10. Yeah. I have plus 14. There you go. We should probably help this guy then. I mean, I guess it, either two of you can make a check, or one of you can Wait. make a check with advantage. No, plus 13, minus 1. I'm not. I'm only at 20 stat. Okay, so do we want to go with can't roll under 10, or do you want both of us to roll? Okay, what, I mean, the chances you. of you rolling two dice under 10 are just so small. So yeah, probably, statistically best would be for you to roll 1, and whoever's better to roll 1 would be your statistical chance for the best. Okay, so we're both going to roll. Okay. Inspiration. Yeah, be inspired. You too, Vic. <laughs> you, you too, roll for Be inspired. I'll inspire you, you inspire me. We'll get this done. Be inspired. Okay, guidance. So roll to 15. I guess guidance on them. After... They, haven't said it, they haven't said what the totals are. Yeah, remember your D10. Okay. And your D4. Okay. <laughs> and none of you are using divine powers for <laughs> Nine, uh, seven, I do technically get that from a divine thing, so I, maybe I don't get the chance to uh. guidance them. It's not a spell you have? No, it's a cleric spell, so I'm assuming that because it's a cleric yeah, spell... you don't okay. have that then. Okay. I got so, a Terry tries to help, it just baffles himself. <laughs> uh, 37? 37, and what, what did Rolf forget? 24. Okay. Um, you spent a couple I hours rolled a 10 looking my, through uh, inspiration books. Um, I almost got into the 40s if uh, we got guidance because I rolled a 4 on the D4. It's a freaking 5th uh, edition isn't even designed to get up to 40s. No, it's not. Like 25 in 5th edition is stupid good. 25 means I have to roll a 13. What is that? Um, Brennan Mulligan says that that's gold medal. Check something. If the skill does what the word makes me think it does. That word does not mean. But yeah, no, I'm I'm also interested in. Not quite, but Bokob information. Um, Bokob? John, 
needs to make an insight check as well. Okay. I rolled a natural 20. Okay. Apparently this spice off. has just been gathering luck. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, insight, you said? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's 30. 30, okay. Um, going through books, and you are but you are focusing towards books that are less Lolth-centric. You very quickly get an idea of who Lolth is. Um, you do rather well reading through as you gather that the um, political bias <laughs> that the books have towards all of the other gods. Um, I'm aware of political bias. I usually create it. Yeah. Um, you notice a handful of gods which there is maybe a sentence or two on. Um... Uh, one of which is probably the closest relevant uh, reference to Vecna, which is just um, the, 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 the you, you do mention a you know you know the secret god who cheated his way to being. Um, you also notice uh, allusions to. Um, a, 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 pro, a profane god of the night sky, Elastre, gathering ties to the name of your companion who brought it here. Um, but those with a couple others are, are basically very little mentioned, uh, going almost towards the idea that you gather that this culture that she grew up in hates to the extent um, that even beyond those that they do not deem worth of worship, they don't deem worth talking about or learning about. Um, otherwise, yeah, for the rest of the Pantheon, um, uh, same, same limited, um, bit of information on a couple of, uh, what they refer to as uh, new gods or um, stolen gods, um, a Ludigar and a um, Asmodeus are also on that that short list that they they dislike. <laughs> um, you know, Ludigar, the betrayer, Asmodeus, god of the devils. Um, But for many other gods, even the you know Sun God Paywar gets at least a couple of pages information. Um, it talks poor about him, but um, does at least acknowledge existence and some details about followers and that kind of thing. You can find the same kind of information on uh, Bukab. Bukab? Bless you. Do you know how hard I've been trying not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> With that check, let's see. Uh, you find as closest the closest detail as far as a location, um, you know, is that it says the Outlands. Okay. My next thing is I look but, for information on the uh, like the Outlands is where Bokob would be, not where like his worshippers are. Um, or like the best way to contact him because we're coming from a place with no god so I'm trying to figure out okay how do I talk to these people yeah it, it kind of like it does how? for many other gods it kind of says you know the plane of this god <laughs> Terry Terry does not care much about finding and meeting the cob um <laughs> <laughs> he is more interested in finding the history and the lore and what these gods did and have done in hopes that he can like gather inspiration from that 
Um, well, Lolf is a very inspiring figure. You have a lot of information on her history. Uh huh. <laughs> so, um, digging through what he can, Lolf or otherwise, um, he's gonna try to find information uh, separately, I guess. As far as where the gods originated? Uh, no, what they've done. Like what they've done? Uh, yeah, because he wants to, like, where, like, I mean, I guess newer gods, sure, but, like, he's more interested in, like, getting an actual history of theology. Okay. Because he doesn't even know what we're supposed to be able to do, so getting that idea, like, if he could find information about afterlifes, or, like, just going between things, or, like... Yeah. With some work, and with some what John moves on to, you do find that it seems that these home planes tend to be the afterlifes for followers, generally. Um, usually where the god um, would dwell, though others move about more. Um, mm -hmm. You do get hung up for a while on some halfling god, um, Yandala. Really, it's just lots of overflowing food. Just a cornucopia oh, like, of it. So, like, she's like a nature god of food, right? Um, she's like a provider. The nature matriarch. But she's the cornucopia, the, the overflowing... Can I find a book? Can I find, like, a holy book of hers? No. Not here. Can I find a book with a you lot find, of You find a section of, of, of probably about four or five pages about her. I think I might be able to use this chick to get an in with our nature god, my opposite. I let, I let, uh... If you want to I, find I information on Lolf, you can find much more detailed information. Um, if you're trying to steal books, um, you can kind of pick and choose from whether you're wanting more detailed on Lolf, or to pick a couple that have a wider variety of information. Oh, much no, no, easier. I'm not... If not only you, like a... I'm talking about John. Okay. If I'm if <laughs> obviously you came pages... in here with the, with the, a disguise yeah. designed to steal books. Yeah. Um, if it's only a few pages that I found, I'm just gonna go up to ro uh, Gulp's roll for it and be like, "Hey, read these pages for me." Thanks. Yeah, that's not a god power. I yeah. just can do that. You're a uh, living photocopier. I remember stuff. No, I think if I'm remembering, it's a god power forever. It's your it bait board thing for what is it, like a few weeks or a few uh, no, months? I, I don't I don't have a god power that mirrors forever. That's the uh, the other lady. Oh yeah, the knowledge god has that power. Yes, she took the power of know everything I've seen once. Mm -hmm. I just have a feat that lets me remember anything I've read recently. Yeah, recently. So unless yeah, he writes like it down, he'll forget it after was it a couple months, a couple weeks. Well, yeah, but like. I'll just, like, once we get somewhere, I'll, like, once we get out of here, I'll just write this stuff down. I'll just, like, like get the notes from him. But, hey, yeah, that's, that's, after, that's after seeing way. that, whatever, the information on the other gods who are not Lolof is basically relegated to either a paragraph or a couple pages, uh, turning to L.A., and it's just, like, uh, get, given that this information seems to be heavily in favor of the local... Uh, God that has local sway over this area. Mm -hmm. Who, how, who, who would be a better source of information to get directly? I mean, do we need somebody to either to commune with the gods, or like you yeah, said, you had a friend that could. Uh, yeah, I have a friend who's met a few of them. Okay, maybe he would be more <laughs> accurate. So, did uh, I get any information about how to contract the gods, or just general information about the gods? You learned so. some of their home planes. So, no, I didn't get But no, not as far as directly that. No, that's not... Okay, because that's what I was looking for. Yeah, well, this was not the place to look for that. Terry is going to take a book of lol that, like, talks about, like, just trash talks other gods and slam it on the table in front of everybody and say, this is that's what mahogany. we need to avoid. This is a library. Uh, what? Biased sources? 
Right. We need to keep things... See, this is how one god, one of us, ends up starting a war. What if it's really funny, though? Okay, like, don't, like, make a whole religion based on it. Like, that's a good book. But, like, this <laughs> is... This is a like a religious book. This is the this is like this Lolf person has active is actively trying. This Lolf person is actively trying to disenfranchise her equals. Maybe discuss this later. Yeah, I would keep your mouth quiet and this. Yeah, how dare you insult our goddess like that, right, Ellie? Absolutely. Can we check this book out? I suppose he could. Sure, I'll check it out. Just let me, uh... <laughs> Thanks. Don't ask questions. Hands and book, that's good enough. LA leads the rest of you out. Do you take just that book, or do you take any of the other... Do I see any books about cooking or anything of that nature? Not in this section, no. Does he see any books uh, that are, like, expensive, gold inline, silver-threaded? Uh, the one that he's checking out for you um, has a lot of silver inlays. Yeah, but, like, does it have, like, a platinum-bound book? No, it's silver. Okay. Lots All right, of, I go like, up to... molded silver bits of uh, spiders, um, like a, a web of silver over top of a Adam, strange I leather Ellie... cover. Hmm? Adam, I ask Ellie how to say an undercommon. I'd like to check this out, please. She tells you. I don't speak undercommon. I know. However, I can perfectly memorize anything that I'm told to I the point where I can hole. reproduce it in the correct accent. Uh, do you have a portal hole? Yes. I'm not giving a book back. I just imagine you drop the book in the hole and then leave with it. I feel like thrusting out a portable hole would be a noticeable thing. Or Perfect. slipping it into a bag of folding would be a noticeable thing. I mean, I could slide of hand it. You could. Yeah. There I mean, are the definitely can be other sneaky. people around. It's all. Yeah, there, there are other people around? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm good. just going to go and check that okay. out. She gives you uh, a phrase the either undercommon is strange or that's too long of a phrase for what you asked for her to say, but she tells you something. Uh, insight check. Okay. okay, that's a nine, so it's a ten, so twenty. Oh, you're wait, not I think really it was my sure. Um, no, you're not really sure. But you don't gather that she has ill will towards you. I say it back to her in exactly a mimicry of her voice. It's a little effeminate for the uh, appearance that you have, but... Yeah, I know. I just, I changed my voice back to normal okay. when I asked. I just <laughs> love her. I'm like, what, what am I saying? I ask her. You're telling them what you're needing to check out. Okay, but if I wind up in some nature or kinky sex thing, it's your fault. It certainly isn't. <laughs> but let me know if you do, because I won't be returning here. <laughs> so you'll okay, the so rest of to... you outside the library to wait. And yeah, there's, I go to check out the There's book. a counter, yeah. You just repeat, repeat your phrase. They say something kind of in reply. Pause say another thing, and put a book in front of you of lines, you quickly see that it's lines of signatures and dates. Yeah, There's I, blank I, ones uh, at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to use my they are all, There's to, There's probably about 30 above it. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my forgery to pick one of the ones above it and use that one. Yep. And you can also just forge from the date and figure out what the date is by what's above it, and... <laughs> uh, let's see here. My forgery is a double proficiency. I'd uh, say that'd be dexterity. With... Okay. But, uh, eight, 13, 
32. They say something else in Undercommon and bow their head. Take the book and walk out. <laughs> Just say the word lol and walk out. <laughs> I, I cradle the book lovingly. Like it's the most precious thing in the world and gently pet one of the spiders. You know, that's way better than what I would have had to do. I just walk out. Uh, while outside with the rest of you, Ellie does mention sort of w when it seems like there's a point with fewer people around. You do need to be careful. Um, there is an official religion here. Um, I think he should be able to smooth it out as he goes. Can you explain what you mean by official religion? Um, as in... <laughs> This city is owned by one of the gods. And they don't share. No, they're not. We're in a town hub. So, like, yeah. they make it do illegal it. to share. Do I hear this when I walk up? They've chosen not to. Um, I mean, the god has appointed a queen. Or, I guess, presently it's kind of queens. Complicated. But... Representative. The gotcha. king is one of the married. Her, her king <laughs> left with me, ironically. Um, <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, nothing like involved. Um, that sounds like a great story. Do go so. on. Go on, no judgment. Nope. Did you want to see meet the friend who spoke with the gods? Hands are a hot cup yeah, of... I yeah, just... didn't we need to run by the sugar sled place, though? Yeah, we're gonna get some food, and we'll set out. It's several days' journey. We can talk. Okay. <laughs> so, um, once John has returned, she'll take you down, um, passing by a stall to get the, um, sugar slug, um, and to... Is there, like, things besides sugary, sweet things? Yeah, no, she stopped by a stall for it on the way to the drained cauldron um, to stop by um, and get some uh, slugs, lots of fish dishes. Um, yeah, also was... Uh, you know, strong ales and very bitter teas. Terry tries a sampler platter. No sampler platter, but you could just put. You, know, you now have the yeah, money to put down that you you create one by just ordering full meals of. Yep, Terry absolutely makes a sampler platter. Yeah. Um, I I also ask uh, the uh, slug stall if uh, they've got any other recipes that they're currently working on. No, just just my grannies. Oh, very good. I'm going to uh, go ahead and use this as a possible future ingredient. This is wonderful. Yeah, I'll, I haven't used slugs as much as I should have. I'm gonna. Uh, by the way, the slug that this is is like a slug on a stick that's sugared, and the slug is about it. it, it it's about eight or nine inches long. Um, it's been dehydrated; that it's very flat and down, and, and bits have been cut off clearly. But um, and it is just both. It has been as as you eat into it and discern with your knowledge. Um, whatever the membrane of the slug was used to absorb sugar into itself through through how porous it is, and then is coated with sugar on the outside. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, and he's like, hmm. A but a slug, slug bigger than any you've ever imagined. And it's like a slug with a mucus. Maybe this could make for a treat if I could find a way to animate it in order to get it to where if you have a sore throat, it'd be able to... Are you like talking to yourself as yeah, walking yeah. down? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, if you use the local ones, they're much too large, but I mean, technically they're sweet when they're alive from how she treats them. The the slugs themselves are sweet and then you use added sugar? Well, Our they're alive in order to absorb the sugar inside of them. Oh. So, they don't have the outer coating and they're puffier. Um, but if you ever go to where she makes them, Huh, so you can actually raise them on sweets and they turn out that way. Those ones. 
Terry is taking There's the time to like... There's none that large in um, your homeland, so I don't know yeah. if they're the same. Um, don't worry, I'll, we can... I'll, 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 think, I'll, th I'll think about it. As far as their size, it doesn't matter. I'll make them when I need to. Yeah, we can breed them. But, um, but otherwise, yeah, takes you to Drain Cauldron, gets the stuff. Yeah, lots of fish, very salty. Um, mm. Mm. The um, slugs here are basically treated almost like a jerky. Um, but yeah. I'm much more Dark ales, bitter slug. teas. Um, and yeah, so you, you have a, a meal. Um, she gets a, a bit of extra um, jerky slug for the road. You have what you'll need to go to be several days. I forget exact. It's mostly straightforward. Uh, or like one teleport circle casting. Don't have that one. Oh. Ellie? I'm not allowed to use it. If I show up at that one, I'm not supposed to. Do you have, a, do you have the uh, spell in a book? I mean, yes. Can I, can I see it? You would also need the portal key. Maybe we can arrange something when we're back. You well, don't I mean, just ask to see a wizard spellbook, man. <laughs> I mean, seeing it for a few days. I mean, like, seeing it would be, you know, save us all a few days. Well, no. The point is, we're not allowed to show up at that circle. It's inside oh, I a building. You weren't, no, I no. thought you were saying you weren't allowed to. It's, I mean, it's maintained by the person we're going to see, but it's in a building owned by the, the guild, and we're not members. Well, so. I mean, I could just use it and send, uh... No, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay. But, uh... Otherwise, once you've all eaten, you can start heading out. Um, she takes you up, further up the street, past the passage where you'd gone up to uh, see your father on the Merchant Street, um... Oh no, that actually, oh, yeah, so up up towards it and then past her father's stall to exit on the north end of the city, um, which opens up, um, this is a much broader gate. This is more, seems like a gate for some level of, of commerce to be involved in um, coming through. And you notice on the other end is a lot of, I mean, you recognize them as trees, but they're trees that are just coated in a thin layer of, of fungus um, that is thick and heavy and there is no sunlight down here um, well but definitely these... taking samples of that she kind of looks around those aren't owned it is a farm <laughs> what this is the farmland outside of the city you really shouldn't just take things I didn't know any better Taking. That's why I said something. She Shame. just keeps walking. Keep going. Um, and you walk by, you know, a house on the the right that looks like a. Um, that looks like it's actually crafted of wood. Um, down here, um, then a little, probably another couple miles up the street. There's one sitting on the left. It's stone and has all sorts of cages and stuff hanging uh, off the porch. Um, just kind of continues on for about eight hours of just through this little bit a stretch of farmland. Um, that uh, that stone house, Ellie, are they are they wealthy? I don't think so. So you don't think they'd pay us for a few stone shapes? No. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? Take the the money from this foreign land that's got some weird minting. I mean, I, could, that, I mean, gold is really gold. I can, yeah, gold. I can fix it. I mean, they took our money. Yeah. Hmm. If it's gold, it's gold. Um, but I mean, they're just farmers. I think they have livestock. 
think worship from this plane of existence would help us on our plane? I don't. Considering we don't have magic powers here, I'm going to say no. Probably not. Also, I don't want to get into a fight with the gods here. Excellent. Excellent point. You don't want to turn with full powered enemies? Um, <laughs> so Terry's going to just like follow along on his tensor floating disc. His Terry's floating disc. Excuse me. And uh, just finish writing up the spells that he's got into his book. Okay. Um. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mimic some some ways. Um. Few winding passages. Um. Probably once you've left the farmlands, you probably see. Um. Little guard. Posted guard sections. What seems to be areas carved into the wall, um, little stairs that go up, little windows that go up that have um, guards, you know, manned of them. Um, first several are definitely all drow. Um, but, you know, things vary as you go. Eventually dark gray gnomes at one point, or uh, some sort of dark dwarf kind of creatures. Uh, one of them even contains some yellow-skinned being. Um, but just areas where you have points that every... It's probably every four or five hours of walking that there's just a way station of some person along this path. And this path, though underground, and the walls along the sides are very natural, and there is some deposits natural on the ground... Um, it almost seems that the, the path here has been deliberately carved to be smooth, to be made a walkable path. It is it is not a difficult terrain going along the road that she is taking you. Um, okay. And you occasionally do see about um, at and about halfway between the different guard stations, there are one or maybe two little inlets carved into the wall. Um, which you find out as your first night arrives going to one um, are designed as easy spots to camp. Uh, are there signs designating the inlets? No. But, I mean, they're obvious from looking at it, and LA is familiar with them. Okay. So um, it. Well, LA, uh, what is a comforting message like rest here or something like that? I mean, I suppose that's comforting. Can you tell me how to they say don't... that in the local language? I mean, a lot of locals speak the same common we do. It kind oh. of translates between the worlds. Okay. I'm going to go and make a permanent illusion. Programmed illusion. Just like, mm -hmm. at like a mile out or so. Mm -hmm. The big magic. Okay. You're just going to freak people out say like rest spot ahead <laughs> but like uh, last yeah, that doesn't like, seem like a trap at all like last rest before yes like or whatever the place is yeah that's a trap no, i've seen traps before they look just like that it's <laughs> fine you won't die here or terry's the rest. guy terry's the guy who makes these traps work because his aren't traps well everybody pile in I cast Pile. Liam and Tiny Hut. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand outside if you watch all night. Well. Deja vu. <laughs> get, it, get in our bubble. <laughs> now, as you cast that, you notice something even more specific. These little carved out areas, that's the size that they are. <laughs> it's the exact size that they are. And they've been carved into the side of the walls to fit them. Huh. Yeah. Make the exterior gray like the stone. Yep. <laughs> Except now what? with a sign. <laughs> what is a good object made of stone? Uh, a statue. Oh, yeah. Uh, Terry will totally just start making little statues of himself. Need a lot of stone. Little <laughs> statues of himself. <laughs> Wider than they are tall. They weigh like six pounds. 
Um, not exactly. So a little settling down for the look, evening. Look, look sort of kind of like this. Yeah. You um. Did you just? Yeah. Your Buddha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had some questions when we were in town, as far as Loth's control there. Yeah. So Loth was like eight of the other the other drow gods. Um, there are a few other drow gods, um, that are all considered heretics by her rule, and have very little in the way of worship. But she didn't eat them. Well, no. No, I mean, no. I know See, that's our major concern around. right now. Is it she'll eat you? Well, they, they would more, be more likely to lock you up or, or kill you. Ah, no, the like gods are in our that. area. Now, we're under the impression that sometimes some gods can eat other gods, like cannibalize them for their power. There are... Make a persuasion check. 30! 19 plus 11! There are methods by it. Um, I have a friend from which I've heard some stories. Um, although, really, the methods I've heard are more mortals consuming the power. Um, grand That's, schemes. Yeah, she would know to about that, wouldn't she? Siphon off the power by killing a god. Which, so, can to we my understanding did involve the destruction of the entire worship base. Can we, like, extend this conversation into, like, an entire night? I mean, at a certain point, she'll go to bed, and you can carry it on as you walk the next day, but... Okay, yeah, because, like, Terry wants to, like... No. Because, like, at this point, he's like, okay, well, there's divine doppelgangers out there, but they're handled. So... What, we're not. He's not worried about divine cannibals, because they haven't been handled yet. The situation that she knows is basically of mortals who destroyed all of the worshippers of some spare gods of dwarves, um, hmm. some lesser gods who had fewer followers. Also, through some of the conversation, you gather that there is a rank of the gods that are the big gods, and that there are further gods below them. Um, almost that give up fealty you know, to them and have divine power but have focus that is less geared towards worshippers um, and so they have smaller follower bases um, can I and, and those were uh, of the couple of dwarf ones that were uh, tricked um, can I tell that this is a theological thing that does not follow the same rules of reality as our reality. As you're going through the conversation, you definitely gather that the, there are differences in the reality. If for no other reason, then um, you you gather that like in this reality, there are multiple gods for the same thing. Hmm. Um, and that's not possible where we are. That that is not the way that it works with the way that your powers currently work. Um, but you know, pointing out that power was taken held and eventually distributed to create a couple of other new gods. Um, By whom? Um, those were an Asmodeus, a devil. Um, no shame against them. I've friends and family. But um, he was already quite arrogant. And a Duogar, a Great Oath, which were okay, people like, that before he came along, well, we'd never heard of. So mortals are capable of, in this world, tearing a god into multiple pieces and distributing those pieces. Um, they were capable of taking the power from a god once the god had no followers. Well. That's a thing. 
Not really helpful for us, though. Good. It does Good give another possible reason to make sure you have followers. Yep. <laughs> um, as far as Loth, she's got a queen in the city. Who? Right, but like, I mean, she sounds like she's just a blowhard that keeps up with uh, forcing an entire people to worship her rather than. It's not really distribute. forced. I mean, from right. talking to indoctrinates the people in the city. Indoctrinates an entire um, people. Yes. Okay. Turns towards the old man, which is not a good thing, for the record. In, Whether or not you're capable of doing so. In concept, there are both upsides and downsides to it. Don't See, think of it much different. upsides and downsides. Don't think of it much different than your own. She has simply gathered all of her followers into one place, or in her case seven or eight places um, and which honestly, doesn't mean that really if something were to attack them eating? that they are easier to track down in number um, that is certainly vulnerability but as far as getting her word to her people um, she as a god does not always pay the full attention to her entire follower base sending it down through her clerics and queens. Anyone else have any thoughts on this wall? I'm not. I like your iconography. The spiders are nice. Creatures have changed. Always there, even if you don't see them. Beautiful. I mean, ants would be a better iconography of that. Yeah, sure, ants. Or at least ants are hardworking, community. So boring. Um. Oh. Boring? Are you kidding? There are there are ants that straight up infiltrate other ant societies and live in those ant societies doing nothing but like spraying pheromones about acting like that they are those ants. There's All ants I know is that they've ruined uh, a picnic. Perhaps that does fit you, old man. But uh, I've never ruined a picnic. <laughs> yet. I was talking about the infiltration. That's what I'm talking about. I say, as I am still a Dark Elf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that accusation is both hurtful and accurate. Uh, so for the Ellie, most, we don't talk about that. For the most part, I was um, interested in hearing about uh, her grand stories so as far as like um, things that uh, she would have done that would have uh, showed off her cleverness as a uh, deity. She seems more of a hit them with a hammer type as opposed to a clever type. Well, she's got, she's a... got some tricks. Eh. She's got um, strong devotion of followers Sen Sen and followers who Sen seek Sen devotion that she does not like follow her stronger under a curse that lives above the city. Say, since most of the information kind of uh, revolved around her, how how much uh, was uh, uh, Coralon brought up in her material? That's the Crap good elf book. god. Oh him, um, he probably got slightly less information than Pela. <laughs> Considering that she's got a very hate love relationship with the guy. <laughs> how about Caden Kellyn? Is he even listed? Probably not. No, that wouldn't be in the core pantheon. You know, it's a slightly modified version of the pantheon from the three point five. Yeah, like, like it's not going to have Salemly Moonbow or something along those lines. Mo different minor elven deities. Mm -hmm. Despite how that like goes into her backstory, but whatever. Well. She's a big fan of Grumsh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a guy who's famously well liked. <laughs> <laughs> and has a great relationship with the elves. <laughs> <laughs> Just best friends. <laughs> but um, We have gone past facetious. Mm. So 
Uh, is the uh, path ahead, is it uh, just basically a straight shot to where we're going? Um, we have a few... We have another day of winding path, and then we get to the the carved section. Um. Alright, well, as we travel, I mean, Terry's, the majority of Terry's time is spent uh, copying scrolls into spellbooks. Do you have know. anything else you want to ask or talk about with her or Alice or each other during the trip? I uh, yes. The of course you do. Yeah, the thing that I wanted to <laughs> ask about was, um, so the recommendation that she ended up giving to Alice was about studying the moonlight, uh, and the more difficult one that I'm having is trying to figure out outside of meditation on the mind or asking for stories of um, the uh, imaginings of children, what would I be looking into for finding the source of imagination for my core tenant? Dreams? Well, I suppose that I could, uh, with the... Uh, there are ways you can enter people's dreams, even. Yes, Stand We've done that. Yeah, stand the healing man and roll for. Her. Uh, that has been our main form of communication. It's through the dream. A great way to talk to people across long distances. Yes, I suppose. Well, yeah. Then roll for. Would you mind assisting me in uh, learning more about dreams? How do you even? Unless you, unless you know a library where you can look that stuff up. Uh, no, I was figuring you just cast Dream on somebody while they're dreaming, and then I could experience it. I think that's maybe what I need. Dream to inside the dream? Because I can go with you with the dream spell. Well, you don't go with me. You declare somebody to be the traveler. Right, right. So you would do the casting, and mm -hmm. I'd do the traveling. Can you even cast those right now? Oh. Yeah, it's a, that, it's a bard. That's a regular bard, though. Yeah, it's a regular uh, bard thing. Yeah, here. Excellent. So can we fast travel now? Would anybody uh, like uh, statues yeah. of themselves made? Yeah, you. No. Uh, that, that's that works. So you, I thought you had to take control of the dream, but that's an option. Uh, nope. Would anybody like read. anything mundane at all? Go ahead and make me statues while we wait for them. Uh. Well, we've only met a few people. I guess I could uh, wait until Vulch is asleep and go and experience what Ooh. his dream's like. You say that, now he just kind of gives you a disapproving look. <laughs> I'm like, well, did you have somebody else that would be a better uh, target? Do oh, dude, that's true. That's a big invasion of privacy, and this spell has no save. Oh. Also, why? <laughs> to what end? Y you could just peek on people's dreams. Huh? Oh, man, the blackmail possibilities. <laughs> The, the the reason that I'm it interested in well, yeah. yeah the reason that I'm interested in people's dreams is apparently that is uh, kind of a st step uh, in our growth as gods is trying to figure out like we can't grow as gods at all right now. Well, no, we can still gain knowledge. That's why we're here. Can we? Uh, by the way, uh, Terry is actively looking for and asking Rolfer to help them look for. Um, like valuable stones, whether it's like quartz or crystals or yeah. You find none of that. Okay. If I spot me, then the... like I'm not talking about like rubies or anything. I'm talking about like no. pretty things. The passage through which you are traveling has, within some period, been manufactured for ease of travel, but that kind of means the entire route has been stripped of anything of possible value. This has been picked through. Yeah, it has been very picked through. In fact, okay. near the end of your second day, you enter a straight shot, where it was deemed, apparently, that it was too out of the way, and there is just a straight tunnel. Um, I don't know, let me focus on here. 
but where they just carved a straight tunnel through between two sections. Mm. Uh, it goes about another day's distance through that. Also, would we arrive any faster if we uh, use my mount to travel and I figured out a way to carry everyone? I think we'd arrive faster if you'd quit asking questions. Yeah. But it takes a little <laughs> less than four days. Yeah. And you can spy on the dream of the sugar slug vendor. Okay. If she, um, yeah. That, that's a good one for figuring out both if she's thinking about sweet treats or just what her dream's like. Um, and her dream does include iconography of, in fact, her god, of Lol. So there are scenes playing out about that. Um, nothing of great specific learning through, through it, but it's a step. <laughs> um, and you start near the end of your fourth day hearing almost a slight whistling coming through the, the, the caverns. Almost as wind passing through over an opening. Um, it's causing some sort of whistling sound. Uh, every day as we travel, uh, Terry will drop a programmed illusion um, in an area of just like snippets of plays or basically just getting practice on making good program illusions. Okay. You're like haunting the shit out of this entire <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Just program illusion collapsing tunnel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pleasant thing. <laughs> program illusion gemstones that disappear as you grab for Maybe. <laughs> They're singing. Program delusion, just a blank wall. Practice. Where there where there's not actually a wall. <laughs> Who dead ended this? <laughs> is the is the cavern at a slope? Sections are, yeah. Um Sections are either even stairs. This this big straight way? Um, it's very, very slight. Uh, you only we... really notice it at all because of the level at which the little camping sections are placed. Are because we going... they are fully level, slightly to the angle of the... <laughs> are we going down? Well, slightly up. Darn, that is the opposite. Alright. I'm just trying to think of ways to make this faster. Okay. Well... Alright, this time we go. You start hearing that whistling, so we're past that now. Uh, once you're back into the natural section of the cavern. Um, which Ellie replies to that with, almost there. Um, and... Navigating through some windy uh, caverns, you find sort of an open entryway. What looks to be the outside of a dome... Um, through which wind is, is blowing through an entryway. Um, outside and around that are five... Like, everything down here is kind of muted colors, but enough so that it makes it very noticeable. Five brightly covered, um, almost like um, high-pitched, like teepee-style kind of height uh, tents. Um... And uh, that's all kind of the way you approach on the right-hand side. And then built into the left-hand side is um, sort of a, a large, um, for those that would know the material, mithril door and a series of windows um, that are cross-braced with mithril, um, like, cro like, basically, you know, the slats in a window, only no glass, but has, you know, mithril dividers to block you from crawling into the windows. Um, and fine, elegant scroll work above the um, the door here. Um, which, if anyone speaks uh, gnome, Bam. Uh, basically denotes it as um, an Arcanist guild. 
Ah, so we've come across an Arcana skill. Yeah. Yes, they're outside, and then this is um, Warrenhide, where um, my friend lives. Well, yeah, I guess he could be in either. Um, it's late. Someone will probably be out tomorrow. We can't get into either the t- the city or the guild. But s- someone will be out, and we can send up there. Uh, you don't want to wait till morning, I can send a message. We can wait. And you said there were tents set up? Yes. Yeah, there are tents set up. Uh, are the traveling merchants still up, or are they asleep? Um, you can hear some movement within the tents, but they're not outside. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we'll wait till morning. Yep. Otherwise, yeah, he sets up sort of outside here as well. Um, I will stone shape a nice building. Your stone shape does not work. Like, is this not magic stone? Doesn't work? If, if LA notices you trying, she's like, you can do that a little further from the entrance. Ah, they're just really good at preventative magic. Okay. Well, yeah, Terry doesn't want to sleep in a tent, so he's going to go ahead and stone shape himself like a 10 by 10 building. Yeah, if you go like Hundred feet out, yeah, you can do it there. But <laughs> yeah, it does it into the uh, the side of the cave, and like mm-hmm. the extra stone that he's pulling out just gets made into like embellishments along the 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 wall. Yeah, she can explain. I think that's one of the protections they put on when making the magic guild. Yeah, just got, you know, dump most of their stuff around her house. <laughs> Anybody else want a nice dry stone house? Alex will take it. I don't sleep. Uh, is that natural or is that divine? Four lock. Just don't know you, Adam. I heave it. I was checking. Uh, yeah, say, um, I ask uh, Ellie, uh, do you, do you know much about uh, the uh, protections that they've cast here? Um, a little bit. Well, say, if I need to know about uh, Arcana, I mean, you should be a pretty good source of telling me. Um, I mean, a lot of them are closely guided. I know they have little, I'm going to call them ferrets, that will guide those allowed into the city up the windy pathway. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, well, I'm asking kind of what do you think would be relevant for me to know of uh, being a god of Arcana? And this is well overnight, right? This is still happening? or Yeah, this, this is, is already camping, camping outside, yeah. Alright, then once Ryan's done, I've been with some stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, she'll tell you a little bit about this kind of stuff. I mean, um, protections on the stone because all the buildings are built into stone um you know physical materials built into the you know morphed into the stone first so that you know physical attacks are repelled um uh i ask her so i'm assuming that it took some effort in order to put down these protections what what was the uh, thing that ended up um uh, either taking the longest or being the most arduous in order to accomplish. You probably need to talk with Henwick about that directly. I wasn't directly involved with it. I've mm-hmm. just heard secondhand stories. Mm, tell me about uh, um, yourself then. What has been the most uh, challenging part of uh, your magic casting? The blue ring. No good. And how did you end up eventually coming upon that? Um, well, it was learned about by the king um, I'd spoken of before, who I was friends with beforehand. And, uh, really, he was only with the queen because she had to be married and wasn't allowed to marry the woman she loved. So, um, 
he was kind of took on the role as an absentee position that didn't really mind. Um, but he's fond, fond of traveling. Um, and he came across rumors of it um, at a certain point. Um, traveling through cities on the surface here. The surface uh, on this world is not traversable like yours. It's covered with beasts and monsters of unimaginable scale. Um, unfathomable power. Dragons of ancient ilk are some of the lesser creatures that you would face. Those living up there either are in cons under constant attack or live in the shelter of cities that defend and are small enough to avoid notice and get by through luck. Anyways, um, Eric uh, had found rumors of it and sought myself and Henwick, who you'll be meeting tomorrow, um, to help him with learning the skills. Um, took a couple of years. We had to track down fragments of scrolls um, from two different continents and a third required me to um, well I went to my my grandmother's um, plane which we'd all they'd all had experience with long story um, anyways we had to gather the fragments of the scroll to put together the spell and then beyond that Eric needed someone to cast it um, so between Henrik and I um, well, I was less tied down. I mean, and he had a wish. He wouldn't really need it. Nope. Wish won't do. You don't have what you what? need with wish for the, the veil. Plot magic. Yep. <laughs> Plot magic. Nope. It's one of like three spells like that. But, um... So, we went. And... I came back. And then I decided to go back there again. Eight years ago. And that's kind of where I just made on. But, um, but yeah, it's difficult to get together. Um, vastly difficult to learn. Hmm. Anyways, so they set off to bed. Stan had something he wanted to do overnight. Yeah, uh, I just dream Austin. Cause I remember I had a dream. Uh, while he's in, just uh, you know, been to prophesize while we're away. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so nothing of real note. Okay. No, no, no role playing involved. Just like. Okay. Do this, and us lecture followers while we're out of town. Um, and do you just stay in the little hu house that Terry made through the night? Yeah, or stand outside, whatever I do to read my book. Read the. You stand imagine. outside. Um, you do notice occasionally um, it's a, a very um, decked out bird creature or two changing between some of the tents. Um, but other than that, um, relaxing night here to the sound of the whistling horn. And we will pick up there in the morning next time. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more. Bye. <laughs>